Hi everyone and welcome to today's video session. I'm Thomas and I'm one of the IELTS teachers here at Lango Learning System. These online sessions are designed to help you improve a certain aspect of one of the four competencies for your IELTS exam, in this case, speaking. Do you love playing or watching sports? If yes, then it's probably pretty easy for you to discuss this topic during an IELTS speaking test. If it's a little more challenging for you, you should watch this video to discover some useful expressions and hear a few sample answers to questions regarding sports. Let's look at some part one questions first. Do you do any sports? Mm, not many. My daily routine is pretty sedentary. I'm gonna try and take up exercise and attempt to get into shape. But as you can see, I haven't started yet. To get more motivated, I think having a personal trainer would be a useful thing. Basically someone who can design a fitness program for me and make me train harder. How do you spend a typical weekend? Actually, I'm a football fan and I often spend my weekend sitting around watching a football match. I'm very passionate about Hanoi FC and I have a season ticket. I attend all the home games and some away games too. I'm really excited about next season. I'm hoping to get down for the Kanto away game. Have you got any hobbies or interests? Yes, I'm keen on playing sports. I do gymnastics twice a week and I play badminton with friends in the summer. It's essential for me to keep fit because then I feel energized for work and study. Now let's look at some part two questions and answers. Describe a place you like going to in your leisure time. You should say what this place is, when you go there, what you do there, and say why you enjoy it there so much. The place where I frequently go to play sports is a sports centre. This is a very new building furnished with the latest sports facilities. It's a large place which has an athletics track and football pitches. Besides these, there are a variety of indoor squash and tennis courts that people often use. I rarely use the Olympic sized swimming pool there because I'm not such a strong swimmer. One of my favourite things about going here is the social side. I can be competitive with the other attendees, which really motivates me to try harder. I've grown fond of going there twice a week because it offers me a way of training for running a marathon. So I go jogging a couple of times each week. And finally, some part three questions. Should people be encouraged to take up more sport? I think that people, especially young people, should be offered a chance to explore which sport is to their particular taste. Watching sports programmes on TV is also a good way of getting them interested, but getting out to participate directly in sports, such as athletics, is a much more practical and desired outcome. After all, you don't want a generation of couch potatoes who only ever see sport on a screen. You want people to feel the benefits of participating in sports. Why do some people enjoy participating in sports more than others? That's a really interesting question. I think that nowadays people are more concerned about their health. They can't bear the thought of being out of shape, so they work really hard to look after them. Some people aren't as shallow and vain, and invariably these people often let themselves go a little bit more and are less likely to participate in team sports. I'm definitely more inclined towards the latter. Which sports do you think are best for people who aren't used to physical activity? Personally, I feel that people who aren't in the habit of doing regular exercise shouldn't take up strenuous exercise immediately. They should start off more slowly and build up to it. Hence, doing a brisk walk or going swimming would be good ways of reacquainting yourself with exercise. I really hope that you found this session helpful in preparing you for your IELTS exam. If you want to sign up for IELTS courses here at Lango, please click on the link below. Our IELTS courses are designed to cater to your individual needs and to provide personalised learning pathways. Remember to like and subscribe and please do not forget to hit that bell button to get notifications of our latest video uploads. I've been Thomas from Lango Learning System and hopefully I'll see you for the next video.